What's up guys, Houndish here, and today we're going to jump into Destiny 2 to speak about Zer's inventory, because as we saw in the first week of Season 15, his inventory has been updated to sell a whole bunch of new legendary weapons and armor, and this included old faction weapons like True Prophecy and Escape Velocity, but also Season of Arrivals weapons, Seraph weapons, and old Iron Banner weapons, and then some Black Armory armor. But looking at his inventory on Light GG, he now has a significant list of potential sale items. In fact, it's so huge that if he does sell all of these items at some point, the rotation is set to be very long, and unless he likes selling duplicates, it could be that for most of these weapons, he will very rarely sell them, and that may be why Bungie have opted to include some of the new weapons, because his inventory even lists things like bottom dollar, according to the database, but Zer also now appears to potentially stock quite a few weapons and items which no longer have other drop sources, and so we're going to take a look at the vast majority of his loot pool. Again, he's by no means guaranteed to sell any of these items at any time, and we don't know exactly how the rotation works or what it will look like over time, but the database does list a bunch of items that we're going to talk about in the video. We should mention though, based on Zer's first visit this season, it appears that the legendary items cost 50 legendary shards and a thousand glimmer, and that's the same for both the armor and the weapons. Maybe a bit more of an investment if you don't have a ton of legendary shards, although if it happens to sell a really a good roll of a weapon or something, safe to say it isn't that expensive. Now though, let's speak about the inventory items that he has, and to talk playlist weapons first, this list does include some newer items. As I mentioned, we have bottom dollar in the list as well as the palindrome, and at first I thought surely he's not that likely to sell these weapons right, but again, that rotation and the potential for him to actually sell them, combined with the fact that they are previous season weapons now, and no longer the core feature drops, and Witch Queen is the next expansion, which will probably replace a lot of these weapons, it does kind of make sense. He also has the trinary system system fusion rifle, which was a gambit drop last season, the swarm machine gun, as well as shadow price, and the xenoclast shotgun from back in beyond light in his inventory. For other world and playlist drops though, we've got the nightwatch scout rifle, the frozen orbit sniper rifle, and then of course the trusty old main ingredient, the first in last out precision shotgun. And then we have the stars in shadow pulse rifle, which was a playlist drop from beyond light, the royal entry rocket launcher, which is a vanguard playlist drop. Then there's the Truth Teller Grenade Launcher and the Crowd Pleaser Grenade Launcher. That one's a heavy from Back in Beyond Light. Another somewhat predictable drops like the Last Dance. I should mention, in terms of the perks here, Zer will be selling random rolls of the weapons that just rotate out over time. And if you do want to see any of the potential perk pools for weapons, or Zer's inventory itself, I'll link Light GG down below, which is a pretty cool place to check them out. Additionally though, from world and playlist drops, we've got weapons like the Lonesome Sidearm, the Outrageous Fortune Grenade Launcher, the Escape Velocity SMG, Long Shadow Sniper Rifle, the GN7 Pulse Rifle, and the Arsenic Bite 4B Bow. The World and Playlist drop section here is the largest section of weapons without a doubt. We've also got the Keening, which is an adaptive frame energy sidearm, the Beringer's Memory Heavy Grenade Launcher, as well as the Dire Promise, but also the Nature of the Beast Energy Hand Cannon, the Wishbringer Shotgun, Last Pedition Pulse Rifle, and the Gnawing Hunger. Of course, some of these drops are things that Zer sold on the first week. We also have the Fallen Guillotine, the Hollow Words Fusion Rifle, the Whispering Slab Kinetic Bow, and the Steel Sybil Sword. And of course, as we go through this list, it becomes clear why it's going to be fairly rare that Zer will feature any given weapon, assuming that they all rotate. Also, according to Zer's inventory, and another interesting one, but there are some older Trials weapons, so that includes Tomorrow's Answer the Scholar, and then the Summoner is on the list as well. And that one in particular doesn't currently have a drop source, I don't believe. So it will be very interesting to see if they drop. Of course, on the first week, he did already feature an Iron Banner weapon. And other older Iron Banner weapons in his inventory include the Forward Path. That's the adaptive frame auto rifle. Of course, Bite of the Fox, which is the one he had. But also Talons of the Eagle, which is the high impact frame scout rifle from the same time. The Fool's Remedy, which is his Soros rapid fire sidearm. Or Wings Maul, the lightweight frame grenade launcher. Swarm of the Raven, the rapid fire frame heavy grenade launcher, as well as Krimmel's Dagger the aggressive frame hand cannon. There are also Seraph and Ikelos weapons, so there's the 7th Seraph SMG, as well as the 7th Seraph Carbine, which is a precision frame kinetic auto rifle, then the 7th Seraph Officer Revolver, a precision frame kinetic hand cannon, as well as the Seraph Sidearm and the 7th Seraph CQC-12 shotgun. There are quite a few nice weapons in this list. And then he's got the Ikelos sniper rifle, as well as the SMG, although I don't think he has the shotgun. And then there's also the 7th Seraph Saw Machine Gun. 
And then finally, there are a few old weapons that used to belong to factions. So we've got the Distant Tumulus, a rapid fire frame sniper rifle, the Interference Grenade Launcher, which is an old new monarchy drop, the Enigma's Draw Sidearm from FWC, and then the Honor's Edge, the new monarchy sword, True Prophecy, which they sold in the first week, but also the Timeline's Vertex, the adaptive frame fusion rifle from FWC. And so hopefully this will be making Zer's inventory quite a bit more interesting. In terms of armor, he's also showing the Righteous sets. These have been updated with his Season of the Lost icon, and their actual source listing in the database is Zer, so some of these items may only only drop in Zer's inventory. He also has Gambit Prime armor sets listed in his inventory. Once again, those have been updated with the new season icon according to the database. But it has other armor sets like the Warmind stuff from Escalation Protocol, the Opulent sets of armor, I believe those dropped in the Menagerie, Black Armory sets, the Seventh Seraph sets, and stuff like the Crucible sets from Forsaken plus some old faction and playlist armor. But again, if you want to see the full list of potential items, Light GG will be linked down below. And a massive shout out to them for the awesome D2 database. It's pretty neat for checking out vendors, weapons and potential roles and stuff like that. Otherwise though, for Zer's inventory, there don't appear to have been any changes for the exotic items, so he's still selling the same weapons and armor that he's had for a little while now. Potentially, we'll see that updated at some point after the Witch Queen. Zer also still appears to only spawn on three locations. But interestingly, while we're on the subject of Zer, it's possible that he's going to somehow be linked to the upcoming dungeon in the Bungie 30th Anniversary Pack. One of the pieces of artwork that they showed for the dungeon actually shows Zer off to the side in this kind of little cave. So considering he's also had some updates to his inventory right now that weren't really announced, maybe Zer will play a part in that 30th Anniversary content, the dungeon or indeed Galahorn return into the game. It's nice to see Zer getting a little bit more involved and getting a little bit of love, and hopefully that trend will continue. But for today guys, that's what we have to talk about. Once again, we will see the kind of pattern with Zer over the next few weeks, and it'll be interesting to see what he features. However, for today, that's a look at how Zer has been updated according to the database. So I hope the video has been useful or interesting. Give us any thoughts you have down in the comment section. But if you've enjoyed the video today, a rating really does help us out on the channel. And be sure to get subscribed so I can keep you posted with everything related to Destiny 2. Also, feel free to check out my new deal with Loot Crate, where you can get 15% off orders using code HOUNDISH15 in the store. Loot Crate have got a bunch of awesome crates themed around Destiny, as well as a bunch of other themes, and they release new ones every three months. So if you want to check that out and get the discount, the link is down below. But otherwise, guys, thank you for tuning in, and I hope you have an awesome day.